still chasing down that undisputed UFC lightweight championship. Here is the former interim champ, Justin Gaethje. Human highlight doesn't even begin to describe it. This man is a well-versed mixed martial arts athlete and finds himself in another huge spot here tonight. Another massive spot. That is what his career is going to be going forward. Because of who Justin Gaethje has been since the moment he stepped foot in the UFC, he will only be fighting these big fights, staring across the octagon from an opponent like he gets tonight. For Justin Gaethje to get his hand raised, though, he's got to make the fight dirty. He's got to make this guy fight him. We have seen on many occasions when you fight Justin Gaethje, and I mean fight Justin Gaethje, you cannot beat Justin Gaethje. Right. He's got to make this in a fight. Gaethje, 23 professional mixed martial arts wins and still has a lot he would like to accomplish here in the big show before all is said and done. Celebrities are out. The floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I got to be in the first row behind <laughs> the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas. They come in groups. They want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. One, two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation. He for takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. Conor McGregor steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor! Herb Dean, our Ready, referee fight. for this one. Ready. As big a lightweight fight as can be put together, two of the biggest stars in the sport, Conor McGregor versus Justin Gaethje. Perhaps Gaethje looking to take a page out of Dustin Poirier's book and perhaps a red pitch early on the notorious one, Conor McGregor. You know, Justin Gaethje is one of those guys that is known for his leg kicks. It has not been something that we have seen as much in his UFC career. But I would advise him against Conor McGregor, the guy with a great left hand, to use that low kick to set the pace of the fight. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Gaethje. To this point, Gaethje has beaten to the punch. Every time they come together, Justin Gaethje is the one landing the major strikes. Oh, nice mix-up of strikes there on the feet from Conor McGregor. Very dynamic here tonight. We talk a lot about that patented left hand. This is a man who brings a whole lot more to the table than just that. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. 
Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Gaethje. Oh, beautiful. Well, Gaethje's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. He's got a good leg kick. There it is. Nice combination there by Gaethje. Unable to connect this. All right, so the narrative in this one, Conor McGregor's striking accuracy. He talks about this cater of weaponry, but the hands have been the story tonight. Well, he can do it all, and this is where he wins fights. When he is comfortable, when he is confident, and he spends the vast majority of a fight on his feet, Conor McGregor is victorious. Oh! He's got to try to finish here. Oh! He's hurt bad. Flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure it out. Straight connections right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He just like a one shot to close the door. Could not shut the door. So there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time, just like that. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. I've always thought one of Justin Gaethje's most underrated strikes is that left hook. He throws it really tight. He keeps his right hand up when he's throwing the left hook. And he lands it over and over again. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks have landed tonight. You see that left thigh fades upstairs and lands flush to the body. When they land perfect, that is the reaction for him. been a wild fight thus far, perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful leverage change. Make him think you're going low and he's a fight over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Well, despite his corner's best intentions, he hasn't made the right again, bro. Big shot to the head. Back to his feet. Man. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power. Ooh.
Gaethje's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Oh, he's got him hurt here. That is it! Oh my gosh! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Here we go inside the Octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the notorious Connor. McGregor! All right, so Conor McGregor came in with one of the best knockout ratios in mixed martial arts history, and he adds to his knockout total here tonight. I mean, Conor McGregor is a beast, and that left hand is a weapon of mass destruction. And once again, he got it off, and he landed and got the KO finish.